Hello everybody, my name is Steph Koza and today I'm reviewing A Wrinkle in Time. A Wrinkle in Time is based on this little book right here, A Wrinkle in Time, by Madeline Lengel. And I read this book as a child. It was probably one of the first books I ever read. It is very much a children's story. I mean, you look through it and it's like the font is like size 25. But I love this book. This is such a magical, beautiful, lovely adventure and I loved reading it as a kid and I'm probably gonna read it to my future kids if I have kids because it's just such a timeless awesome wonderful magical story and I love it so much so I was kind of excited when I heard they were making a movie about this I was like all right I like A Wrinkle in Time. It was one of my favorite stories as a kid. This could be great. The movie is directed by Ava DuVernay, which is promising because she has made a ton of great movies, the best of which is Selma, which was fantastic. So knowing that she was helming this movie was really making me excited. So knowing that she was helming this film really got my hopes up, really let me think that maybe this movie was gonna be great and awesome and just what I wanted it to be. I was so, so wrong so wrong. I have never been more wrong in my life. Somebody please explain to me how the director of Selma made this dog shit film. Dog shit. It's dog shit, okay? After I saw the movie, I was trying to convince myself that it's not that bad. There are some redeeming qualities in this movie. And I was trying to look at it from the perspective of a child. Like, the audience for this movie is technically children, like it is a child's movie. And I guess a kid would probably like it a lot more than I would. It seemed kind of like a movie that you would see on Disney Channel or something. But even then, like, I don't know. There were a lot of kids in my theater and I didn't really hear that much laughter or like any kind of engagement with the film at all. So I don't know. I need to talk to a child and ask them what they thought. <laughs> but also, I don't know if the audience for this movie really should have been children because it should have been one of those movies that's like for children but also for adults because I'm a majority of the people going to see this film are people who are adults who read the book as a kid and it's kind of this nostalgic thing, but then they also want to bring their kids and show their kids this story so it's kind of universally for adults and children. That's what they should have done with this movie, but instead it is completely a children's movie. It is very juvenile. It has similar themes of the book, but it's just demonstrated terribly. The dialogue is cringy. There are some really awkward moments. So the plot of this movie is that a young girl and her little brother have lost their father. He was a scientist along with their mother and they were trying to discover this thing they called a wrinkle in time that would allow them to sort of travel through time and space instantly. And the father was trying to figure it out and he was so desperate to find it that something happened to him in his experiment and he disappeared and everyone thought he was dead. But then these three magical, mysterious women, Mrs. Who, Mrs. What's It, and Mrs. Witch, played by Mindy Kaling, Reese Witherspoon, and Oprah Winfrey respectively, come to these kids and they're like, hey, we think we know where your dad is. He's somewhere in the universe. His experiment succeeded. Let's go find him. So then the whole rest of the movie is this brother and sister trying to find their dad and they go on this crazy adventure through time and space and they discover all these weird planets and these weird places and this really evil planet dimension thing where their father is. And it is kind of fun at times. Like it's a very crazy ride. There's a lot of like really cool imaginative stuff that was fun to watch. But that was really the only redeeming part of this film. I guess I'd say the only other part that I liked was Chris Chris Pine, who plays their father, he was great. I mean, it's Chris Pine, of course he's gonna be great. And his connection with his kids and with his wife was just like beautiful. I almost teared up a little bit at one point. I was like, you love them so much. So like this movie has some charm. It has some nice moments, but that's really all it has is moments. Moments of kind of okayness. I remember when I read the book, Mrs. Who, Mrs. What's It, and Mrs. Witch, they were my favorite part of the book. I thought they were so cool. They were so interesting. I was like, wow, I wish I could meet these awesome some badass women. But in the movie, they were just kind of weird and they weren't very helpful and they weren't even really there that much. And they were supposed to be like kind of quirky, but it just came off as weird. I think there were some good qualities to this movie. Like there were a few parts that had this like crazy sense of adventure and wonder and like discovering something for the first time and it was very exciting. And while it was very CG heavy, it was still kind of beautiful like this world and this universe that they're exploring. And then the rest of the movie is just so bad. It's so bad. The CG is not great. The acting is like okay for kids, but I just can't stand children. One thing that I really hate in movies is when like really, really young kids have dialogue that is like clearly written for adults and it's supposed to be like quirky and funny and cute, but I just hate it because it's so 
unbelievable. Like, there is no child, no matter how smart they are in the entire world, that would ever talk like that. That is never going to happen. That is so unrealistic. And I know it's like a kid's movie, whatever. I just can't, I just can't do it. Maybe if I was a little kid, I would love this movie. I don't know. I think if you took your kids to it, they'd probably have a good time, but I don't think it would be like their favorite movie ever. For me, as someone who read the book as a child and was very excited for the nostalgia and the adventure of this story, I was pretty let down. Even just looking at it from an outside perspective of someone who knew nothing about it, it was still just not a good film. I think most of it has to do with the writing, honestly. The writing was very bad. It felt very fast, like the whole plot of the story just escalated very quickly and then I was like, oh, we're already done. Okay. Like I didn't have enough time to really invest in these characters and get involved in this universe. Like it was just, everything was forced and awkward and weird and I just didn't like it. So I think all of those things considered, I'm going to give it a two out of five because I think if you're a kid, you might enjoy it and that's why I'm giving it a little bit of a benefit of the doubt, but it was just bad, man. It was bad. How did you do this and direct Selma? How, how did the director of this movie direct Selma? My mind is blown, like, that that is a fact. Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. It makes no sense. I just, I am lost. Anyways, that is my review for A Wrinkle in Time. I wish I could just wrinkle back in time before I ever saw this movie and stop myself from seeing this piece of shit film. Magical movie for kids, dog shit pile of garbage for adults. There you go. That's my review. Anyways, let me know if you guys saw Wrinkle in Time and let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. If you don't know yet, I did create a Patreon. If you would like to check that out and support my channel, I would love you so much. But obviously, no pressure. You don't have to. It's literally fine. The link is in the description of this video. You can check it out. Check out all my rewards. I have a lot of cool stuff on there for you. Thank you so much to everyone who has contributed to my Patreon, especially my top three patrons on Patreon, which are Martin Jorgensen, Steve Wesson, and Cameron Martin. Thank you guys so much for supporting me on Patreon. It means the world to me, and I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing any of your names incorrectly. Please let me know, and I will fix it next time. But all of my top patrons get a shout out in every video that I will ever make, and the rest of you guys are thanked down below in the description of this video and every other video that I make. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm Steph Koza, and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>